Okay, we're just going to start with doing a problem. Let's write down problem number one. 4x squared plus 12xy squared plus 9y to the fourth. Okay, our first step, if you look on um, page 171, our first step is to take the root of our first term. So right over here, we're going to write kind of our answer section. Okay, so I'm going to take the root of this one, that's 2x, and write it right here. We just found our first term. Now, um, this term, just by the process, Rebecca's process, is just kind of eliminated. You minus it. It's just, you don't think about it anymore. Okay, bring these two down. Okay, now we're going to write out two things right over here. One is the trial divisor, and one is the complete divisor. Okay, so let's fill in our trial divisor. Oh, let me put a little spacer right here so we don't confuse these. Let's um, fill in our trial divisor. It is whatever latest root answer you've just found, it's twice that. So it's 4x. And our next term that we're looking to find is going to be found by taking our trial divisor and putting it under the first remainder. Not this one. That one's out of the picture. But the first remainder. So 12y squared um, divided by 4x is going to be 3 Oh, sorry. I don't know why I didn't have an X in there for my original problem. Okay. 12XY squared divided by 4. There was an X in the original. <laughs> divided by 4X. Well, the X's will cancel. The 4 will go one time, three times. So it's 3Y squared. That is my next term, and it's a positive term because... This was positive, this was positive, it didn't, there were no signs, negative signs involved. Okay, so I found my next term. Now my trial divide, I mean my complete divisor, let's fill that in. It is found by taking that double term and adding it to the latest term that I found. Plus 3y squared. And then this part right here, I take my latest term I found and I multiply it by everything in the trial divisor. So 3y squared times 4x is 12xy squared. 3y squared times 3y squared is 9y to the fourth. So you see I get the very same thing and that's good because what I want to do for these problems is I'm just checking my work to make sure that if I minus that these will all cancel out and yes of course they do. Okay. All right, let's do problem problem number two, or I'm sorry, four. No, actually it is two. Okay, 16x squared minus 56xy plus 49y squared. Okay, first step, take the root of this write out our answer. By the way, when I wrote this answer, um, I would have taken it down and correctly written it like so. With a plus or minus sign. You could have two negatives of these and it would make a positive or just two positives. <laughs> but that would be our root. Um, anyway, okay, so this is our root section over here. I'm just writing my answer section out beforehand. So I can just start piling them on in there. All right, this one is, you're going to take the exact root of your first term. So let's take 4x, that's our first term in our answer. And now we're going to um, just kind of subtract that out of there. We're not really going to think about that bit anymore. And let's take um, what's left over and bring it on down. Okay, or I'm sorry would have been my equal part right there. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, now let's spread our trial divisor to the side. And our complete divisor over here. Now, our trial divisor is equal to two times the root, the last root we found. Well, that's the first and last root we found so far. So, trial divisor is 8x. Divide the first term of your remainder by 8x. Um, negative 56 divided by 8 is negative 7. X, uh, well, the x's cancel, so negative 7y. There we go. Okay, next step is to find the complete divisor. You find the complete divisor by taking two times that root, like we found there, plus the latest bit that we found, so it's going to be 8x, not 4x, but 8x minus 7y. 8x minus 7 y. Now you're going to take your 7, or your negative 7 y and multiply it by all of these terms in the complete divisor. Let's just put a parenthesis around that. Um, okay, 4x times 8x. I'm sorry, negative 7 y times 8x is negative. So I'm multiplying my last term by all of these. Negative 7 y times 8x is negative 56xy. Negative 7y times negative 7y is positive 49y squared. And you can tell that these are going to cancel out. When you subtract them, there will be a positive 56. So that will cancel with the negative. That will be a negative 49y squared. That will cancel with the other one. So our answer, we're going to write it as plus or minus whatever this is inside here. 4x minus 7y. That's our root for number two.